Hey the collectors, today I got a new video for you and it's been a whole year and waiting to get this particular item. The box came today, but FedEx did a big crush right here. So I'm hoping the contents within this box is not damaged. So let's take a look. It's not damaged. You got this going on. Okay, bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap. <gasps> okay. Oh, yes, the box is not damaged. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's get rid of that. <gasps> Look it. Oh my god, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Look at the box. Is wrapped in cellophane. Shrink wrapped, or whatever you want to call it. Oh my god. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You can see the eyes right through. Oh my god. Okay, let me take this plastic off. Oh my, you guys have no idea. Literally a whole entire year. Uh, people just started to receive it. I didn't get mine from Mezco because Mezco had um, already finished their... Um, I guess the selling of the doll, so it's not as on a wait list or a wish list, or I think it's a wait list. But yeah, I got mine from the Big Bad, what is it? The Big Bad Toy Store. I purchased them from them before. They were really good with the shipping. I, I didn't know they were, I think, what was it? In Wisconsin, I think they were located, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my God, look. You can see that. I like how the way they did this white and then it just goes clear right here. Look at the bottom, like that. Oh, look at the artwork, super cute. It's heavy, it's heavy. Definitely has some good weight to it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Let me kind of zoom out just a tad. Okay, then we have, it's like this. This is what the inside looks like. This is extremely good, sturdy box. I love that. The box is extremely sturdy. <clears throat> and then we have the doll inside here. Looks like this. Super cute. Let's take off the plastic from the top. So what you would do is pull it out like this. And then in the bottom, you will have the box with all the accessories that it comes in, which I will show you that in a few minutes. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take this off. And we're gonna take a look, look at this. Oh my God. Wow. So freaking cute. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna set her aside, but, oh my God, she's badass. So it comes with instructions. Uh, Sadie also came with instructions. If you didn't see that also, that's a few videos down. So, wow, this one seems like it has a lot of more instructions on there. So, you, you see all the instructions here. And this one is specifically for Exorcist. So, yeah, nothing in the back. All right, so we'll look at that later. I want to go through the accessories first because I feel like the accessories, there's so many pieces, it's crazy. Look at this. Oh my god. Okay, what am I gonna start with? Okay, let's start with let's start with Oh my god, so many choices, so many choices. What what am I starting with? What am I starting with? The basket maybe? Okay, so you have the basket. Super cute, very detailed. It looks real. Like it looks real. So then you also have this little plastic here to hold everything down. Um, and then you have the, the grass. But when you take out the grass, you get a little surprise inside. It looks like that. And then inside the grass, what you're gonna do is you slip it out from the little paper. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna open it. Uh -huh. You got the paper, 
and then you have a little information there I'm not gonna read it because I'm looking at them it's a little blurry I don't have my glasses on but you can see the little the little paper that looks like this I don't have my glasses so I can read it so I'm not gonna do that but yeah, so you have this little paper. Just in case if you missed it, if you guys are the ones who keep, you know, inbox collectors, as, as some of us are, some of them de box, some of us put things back in the box. And let's put the grass back inside. Super cute. It gets everywhere, by the way, so just be mindful of that. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is put this on the side. What else? What else am I looking at? What else am I looking at? Okay, so you're gonna get another head sculpt here for the face look at this look at the detail on this face oh you have the inside part you can see right here this is amazing look at the teeth look at the detailing on this it's sick love 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 this look at the ears Okay, so we got that. And then you have the back part of the head. Like this. So basically you will put this like this. Like that, you see that? Like this, right? So we got that going on. And then of course you have the top of the head. Which looks like this is tied. It's like tucked in. The hair is tucked in. So you have the top of the head. So when you put it on, it will look something like this. I think it's the other side. Right, it will be. Let me see. No, wait, let's. Yeah, it's gonna look something like this. I just gotta like put it together. But just to show you guys very quickly. And then you have the little mask. Very cute. The little bunny. Look at the detail on that. It's amazing. You have the back part. It has a little elastic right here. The little rubbery. We got that. It's solid plastic, but it feels a little rubbery, I guess, to give it the flexibility when it's on the head. And then you have uh you have a centipede. Let me open it like this. Look at this. See the detail on this? That's crazy. If I was to take this to my job and scare the hell out of the girls, I would. But so I won't get in trouble. I won't. Here's another one. So you get two of them. Like this. I feel like a finger. Oop. I dropped it. Where did it go? Where did it go? Sorry, I'll, I'll look for it later. Um, and then you're gonna get little roaches. Like this. You get these little roaches. See that? Okay, so you're gonna get quite a few roaches. You're gonna get, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you're gonna get six. And you're also gonna get worms. You're gonna get some earthworms right here. You got one, and then you get a second one right here. See that? You get another worm. Uh, what else you got? Oh, you're gonna get the stages, the different stages and the eggs of it hatching. So this is gonna be basically stage one. You see it has like these little things sticking out all over it. You see the detailing on that? Absolutely amazing. So you got that egg. And then you have the egg number two. Well, I would say this is egg number one and then the other one is egg number two. So you see the, the detailing on this. Look at that. And then you're gonna get another phase, which would be this one right here, which you're gonna get a little creature. See how it's painted inside? Look at the detail on this. Like, this is crazy. You can see the hands, like it's trying to push itself out like this. Look at that. That is so awesome. Amazing. And then you get the other phase where you have another one coming out like this. 
I love how they put the sheen on the eyes. You see how the shininess in the eyes? That looks really, really cool. Okay, so the detailing like this. Look at this. I've seen somebody else who's known about um, doing reviews on these, but but he didn't really show an actual close-up, so I'm going to do that because I think it's best that you guys see a really, really good close-up of these eggs because they're freaking awesome. Look at this one. That is amazing. Look at the detail and how the way it's cracking out of the egg. That is freaking amazing. Oh, I love it. Um, and then you're going to get extra hands, which the hands would be here. I'm not going to show that because that's not really important. Other than that, I got in all the accessories. As you can see right here, you can see the roaches. But let's move on and let's look at the doll herself. So you're going to remove her like this okay i got a little bit of this the moisture control oh my god <gasps> it's so pretty i love creepy shit like this let me tell you something i may be a barbie collector and i also my first love will always be horror action figures and some scary shit because that is the one thing I've always done collecting since I was a kid, especially in the early 90s when I started collecting. And I've never played with none of my toys. I was just kept, you know, packed up, displayed and looking at them. But yeah, and none of my friends were allowed to play with them. But oh, look how beautiful. Look at the eyes. Okay, let's. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at the look. Look at the news, though. This is this is trippy seeing the news on this. Okay, it has like it's dirty, it has like a velvet finish, it has the bottom, it has an elastic in the bottom here, super cute, look at the little hands, it's a little shiny, wow, okay, so now, okay, we got the plastic on the head, wow, how would I take this off, oh wow, <gasps> Look at that. Look at the eyes. Can you believe the amazingness that this, this doll is? Oh my god, let's look at the... See that? The cracks. So she's giving me like a little bit of a porcelain finish. I guess that's the illusion. Because she's basically supposed to be like an egg. Like the finish is like an egg finish too. Like the eggshell. Oh my god, look at the eyes. Let me zoom in so you guys can see the eyes. Look at that. Look how amazing. Look at the lips. A little bit of a green throw up. You can see all the cracks. Give you guys a nice little profile from the side. You have her hair. Um, I heard that her hair is short. Um, slightly shorter than the original. So um, I don't have the originals. I used to always see these dolls at the comic book store when I was in high school, but I've never gotten around to collecting these. But oh my God. So her hair, she has some light purple and some dark purple in her hair. So you have that. Look at the back like that. Oh my goodness. Absolutely adorable. <gasps> and then you have, let me zoom out a little bit more. You have the inside here, which is held with Velcro, so you have that. So this is the body from inside like this, like this, you see that? Oh, so freaking cute. Now you do have some articulation. So we have articulation in the arm, bends like this, right? Her arm doesn't go any further up, so it's like this, that articulation on the wrist. Be gentle. And then when you're doing this, by the way, be gentle. Um, up, down. And then she has articulation on the leg like this. And then I need to zoom out a little bit more. Okay. And then you have articulation on the other leg like this. Okay. Oh my God. I freaking, freaking love it. 
so fucking cute. Oh, look at the hat. So you, you put that on the hat, the hair is going to get messy. I will tell you that right now. Look at this. So this is going to be the struggle part right here is when you're putting on the hat. I'm just going to put it on whatever just to kind of show you. She does have wires in the ears. So you could kind of play with them and pose them. So I could do it like this. You know, you have it like that looking, giving you cray cray. But what I am going to do is I'm going to actually swap her head because originally I want the other head. This one is awesome. I freaking love it. It's everything. But I'm going to take... So from what I know is you can pop this head off like so. There we go. So you can just pop it off like this. So you see that part right there. So you have this part right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze. Because this is going to be the same thing as Sadie. But you're going to squeeze. Like the, the head is a little soft now because of the hair. Sometimes it can be tricky. But. There we go. So you see her open like this. So you have that. This one actually came out really easy. I felt like when I did it with Sadie, it was giving me a, a little bit of a tough time. But yeah, look at the whole entire head. See that? Super cool, right? And then you see I have a little plastic thing here. So what you're going to do is to remove this, you just got to like pull it apart and it comes like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the eyes. Here is... Again, the eyes close up, and then here she is with no eyes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, because this is the first thing I wanted to do, is to put this head. I wanted to give her this, because this I fucking love. This shit is hot, I love this. This is, ooh, it's everything. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna remove the eyes like this. Now, from what I've known is that when you're putting on the eyes, because this eye is covered, you're going to put it like this. You're going to take this eyeball and apparently you're supposed to like bend it to the back like this. Something like that, right? I think it is. So what you're going to do is... Oops, I knocked the thingy down. Just put... Ooh, ooh. You're gonna do is right. You're gonna put this little piece here. Do I got this on right? I think it's like this, right? Like this. Okay, so it's gonna go like that. See this? You know what's gonna give it away? That little circle you see down here, like the outline, like that. And then this. You're gonna put the eye through there. But I have to take this off. Put this on the whole eye situation here. So you're gonna do like this, right? I think it's like this, if I remember correctly. Okay. So let's put this on. Like this. I'm gonna pop this in here. I keep forgetting that this part is supposed to push apparently like this. So the eye is like this. And then you put like this. It's supposed to go something like this. Okay. This is going to be tricky, so take your time doing this because, yeah. Okay, you see the eye? There we go. See, I can move it now. This one, it's supposed to go like this, something like this. I'm gonna read the instructions. <laughs> oh shit, okay. So you're gonna do it. There we go. Okay. Okay, so this is gonna be the tricky part, which you have to figure it out. Okay, then you're gonna take the back part of the head and you're gonna, what is it, like this, right? Is this on even right? I don't even think this is on right. I think 
think it is on right. All right, let me do this off the camera really quick. Oh, this is a little challenging. You gotta keep looking at it. I'm sure you guys are like, look at the instructions. It's just, it's getting it together is the issue here. Yep, this is the part where everybody had a hard time putting together. Okay, mine's is giving me some issues to put it on. I'm gonna assume that this is supposed to be the top part like this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See that eye? Mine looks like this. I think I might put it upside down, but. I think I might put mine's, I have to put mine's a little upside down. No, I, don't, I mean, it looks fine to me. It's this eyeball. It's so fucking weird. They should have just done it with one. But whatever. Okay. Let's put the head on. Let's put the head on. Take your time also doing this because this can be very challenging. See, like this side for some reason, it's not letting me. And it's not like this is hindering it in any way. It's just putting this head back in there. Put that. It's a, it's a little, it, this one is more in than this side, but it is what it is. Let me see if I could try to put this skull. Okay, so you put the this part first like this, and then you put it like that. Oh, that went in really easily. Okay. Oh, little strands of hair. Okay, so let's put her head, and just like that, it's on. Ooh, love the creepiness. So I'm gonna do this, and she's gonna look like this. Oh, isn't she lovely? Look at that. Love it, love it. Look at that the ear up look at this there's also some wire around this the hood part there's wiring right there so you can kind of like mess around with it if you want I feel like I want to tuck some of this blue hair like this like that I love it side profile no, oh, this is so freaking cute. I love this. <sighs> I'm so glad I got it. I'm so glad I got it. I'm so glad I got it. All right. So there's the little, little bunny. Bunny too. Okay. So I wanted to show really quick. Hopefully I didn't take anybody's time. You know, hold your little basket. My living dead doll exorcist. Egg exorcist. I would say. Yep. I hope you guys found this video super helpful. I hope it was a way to kind of show how to work with the eyes. It can be very finicky also with the head putting it together. We also experienced some issues also with Sadie at the beginning too. So oh, and speaking of Sadie, she's right here. So you have both of the girls. Oh, I love this. I freaking love this. I can't wait to take pictures of this one right here. And I hope this was helpful in any way, shape, or form. Thank you for watching. Until next time, hopefully I'll get my hands on Damien. So be on the lookout for that. Have a good one, you guys. Enjoy your weekend.